cell membrane and cell wall. In this module, you will learn about cell membrane and cell wall. We all know that living organisms are made of cells. A cell, in turn, is made of a number of parts. One such important part of a cell is the plasma membrane or the cell membrane. Plasma membrane is the outermost covering of a cell that separates it from the external environment. It is made of lipids and proteins. The plasma membrane behaves similar to the door of a house. It guards the entry and exit of substances in and out of the cell. Interestingly, not all the substances can enter inside the cell. The cell membrane of the cell allows only selective substances to enter. Hence, it is a selective permeable membrane. Cell membrane is the protective layer present in all the cells. In case of a plant cell, an additional protecting layer is present outside the cell membrane. This is the cell wall. A cell wall is the rigid outer covering of the plant cell. It is made of cellulose, which is a complex molecule. The function of a cell wall is to maintain the shape of a plant cell and to provide strength to the plants. Now that we know about the cell wall and the cell membrane, let us see how different substances move across a cell. The movement of substances in and out of the cell occurs by two different processes. These are osmosis and diffusion. Let us first learn what diffusion is. Diffusion, as you already know, is the movement of substances from a region of higher solute concentration to a region of lower solute concentration. Substances such as carbon dioxide and oxygen move across the cell membrane by the process of diffusion. Osmosis, on the other hand, is a special type of diffusion that allows the movement of water across the cell membrane from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration. Let us understand the process of osmosis with the help of some activities. For this, let us take some dried raisins and put them in water filled in a container. You can see that the water concentration inside the raisin is lower as compared to that in the container. As a result, osmosis happens and water from the container moves into the raisins. Therefore, the raisins swell up gradually. The process of osmosis in raisins actually takes place at the cellular level. In other words, water moves inside each of the cells of the raisins through osmosis. The water actually gets stored in the vacuole of a cell. As a result, the vacuole increases in size and takes up more space in the cell. Hence, the cell swells up and increases in size. The increase in size of the cell results in the swelling of the raisins. Any solution in which the medium surrounding a cell has more water concentration than the cell is called a hypotonic solution. In such a solution, the water moves into the cell by osmosis. Now take the same swollen raisins and put them in a concentrated salt solution in a container. In this case, the water concentration inside the raisins is more than the salt solution. As a result, osmosis takes place and water from the raisins moves into the container. Therefore, the raisins gradually shrink. Here again, osmosis takes place at the cellular level. This means each of the cells of the raisin start losing water from its vacuole and gradually decreases in size. Besides, the cytoplasm starts shrinking along with the plasma membrane away from the cell wall. Such shrinking of the cytoplasm of a cell away from the cell wall is called plasmolysis. The plasmolysis, as you have seen, occurs when a cell is kept in a solution with lower concentration of water. The plasmolysis of cells results in the overall shrinking of the raisins. Any such solution in which the outside medium has a lower water concentration than the cell is called a hypotonic solution. In such a solution, the water moves outside the cell by osmosis. Let's recap. 
A cell membrane is the outermost covering of a cell made of lipids and proteins. A cell membrane allows the entry of only selective molecules inside the cell. A cell wall is the rigid covering of the plant cells present outside the cell membrane and is made of cellulose. The movement of substances across a cell takes place by diffusion and osmosis. Diffusion is the movement of substances from a region of high solute concentration to a region of lower solute concentration. Osmosis is a special type of diffusion that allows the movement of water across the cell membrane from a region of high water concentration to a region of low water concentration. Any solution in which the medium surrounding a cell has more water concentration than the cell is called a hypotonic solution. Any solution in which the outside medium has a lower water concentration than the cell is called a hypertonic solution. The shrinking of the cytoplasm of a cell away from the cell wall is called plasmolysis.